Hello, we're here with Ol Silvertongue, an Oakland-based rock group. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to do this interview. Do you want to just start by telling us a bit about the origins of your band? How did you guys uh, first meet up? We were at a salsa party. Was that the, the, the very first time that you both met? Yes, and we hit it off right away. That's great. Uh, where was that? Was that in, in Oakland that you met? Yeah, it was at a, my house in Oakland. Yeah, we got to talk about music, you know. Definitely had some similar tastes. Decided to jam at one point. Really worked out. Definitely really like enjoyed this guy's vibe, for sure. That's, that's great. And you're both longtime musicians, I hear. Is that right? I don't know like what your definition of long time is, but I've been playing for a little while. Me too. It's about 20 years now. Just keep playing, making lots of good rock and roll music. That's great. And and you guys had an immediate connection or, you know, why did you decide to form this this band? I wouldn't necessarily call it a band. It's definitely kind of a way of life. That's great. What, what do you mean by way of life? Well, I mean, we have like a routine, you know? From this. Tell us a bit more about that, that routine. What is this routine? Well, you know, usually I come over around, you know, early afternoon, you know, and we usually start the day off with, you know, some eggs cheese, good conversation, some 4T, then we get down in the garage and we just shred for hours. Great. And, and the garage is where you filmed your most recent and your first music video, is that right? Devil's Breath? Do you want to tell me a bit about that process? It was quick. It was a very fun video. I know that it got a lot of attention online. Do you want to talk a bit about the fan reaction? What he said. That's great. And um, so you you guys have an EP, EP coming out, right? Your your very first EP is is that right? Wait, say that again. You have your very first uh, EP coming out. Is that right? Wait, say that again. You you have your very first. EP coming out is that right? <laughs> oh no, we definitely have a, an extended play. Yes, um, an extended play. Yeah. Tape recording coming out soon. Great. Yeah. How how long have you been working on it? Oh, uh, we just you know worked on it for like a day, I guess. You know. One day. Songs, a few hours. No big deal. Great. What's the the kind of goal behind the EP or, or you know what do you think is going to make it make it special here in Oakland it rocks I'm sure it does that's great um and uh when do you plan on releasing it in in the, in the near future hopefully or releasing in the near future that's a hell of a statement Yes, thank you. Oh, great. And so you guys have been performing around Oakland a lot and around the Bay Area, is that right? Definitely an amount of performing has been taking place by the two of us. That's great. Do you, do you feel like Oakland, you know, I know you're both from Oakland here. Does that sort of influence your music or what does, what are the kind of main influences in your music? Mostly like life experiences in general and just like the daily routine. And... Great. And I know you, you typically write the lyrics, is that right? I don't know if you want to tell us a bit about with Devil's Breath or one of you know your more recent songs, kind of 
what went into that, if it was something personal or confessional or It's mostly about um you know like um you know like making making right with the world and just challenging the the values of consumerism and that's great and and I guess how how would you guys describe your sound for us I know you have a, a sort of a, a classic rock rock thing going but you know how would you describe it in your own words um you know I really don't want you to like pigeonhole us into like a classic rock kind of vibe like we definitely you know are loud crushingly rugged like visceral rock and roll music for sure like that's what we are great and so you know i know there are obviously a, there's a big indie scene growing here in the east bay and there's a lot of you know new indie rock bands coming out I guess what would you say you know distinguishes you guys from from the crowd I didn't want you to know, no, 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 I didn't want 
you to know. 